Her body's gold like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try to get in our remember. What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys five of my beginner Photoshop tips. If you didn't know this already, I am actually using a brand new microphone. This is the Blue Snowball Ice. I personally believe the quality is much better, but um, I should have a pop filter for this mic as well, which will increase the quality even more, but that unfortunately hasn't arrived yet, so I will be improving my quality a lot when that comes. Anyways guys, with all that said, let's just get straight into the first tip. For the first tip I have is keyboard shortcuts. Learning keyboard shortcuts will help you speed up the process of your workflow. There are a few keyboard shortcuts for different tools in the toolbar, and the uh, most efficient one that I use personally is Ctrl and N. This uses a uh, step backwards thing, so if I press Ctrl and N it will step back, and uh, different to the Ctrl and Z command, I can step back more than at least one step. If you don't know how to open the keyboard shortcut page, all you have to do is go to edit, click keyboard shortcuts down at the bottom, and then here on this page you can go ahead and change to a variety of different keyboard shortcuts. For the second tip I have is to learn how to use CCs. If you don't know what CC stands for, it stands for color correction, and CCs can really change the way your designs look. Here are a few examples with a couple of my previous work. So this first image right here you can see at the top, the, uh, the top one is clearly the design without the CC. Some of you may not be able to notice this if you are viewing it on a mobile device, but the one on the bottom is the one with the CC and uh, Magic Bullet Looks effects on. Here's one more example with a before and after image, and once again it really affects the banner's appearance. If you don't have Magic Bullet Looks or uh, many CCs downloaded, in fact, I will actually make a CC pack if we can reach 25 likes on this video and uh, I will be sure to do that as soon as possible. The third tip I have is to not stretch images. I can't stress this enough but it's really annoying watching the speed art where someone goes ahead and stretches the image instead of using shift to do it and uh, this is really annoying and it's the worst thing you could do really as a designer. Stretching the image will only increase pixelization on it and uh, basically makes the whole design look trash from a designer's point of view anyway. The only way you can resolve this issue is to not stretch your images, always make sure you hold down shift when you are obviously changing the sizes of them. For the fourth tip I would like to mention, don't use the same fonts over and over. I know a lot of us are guilty for this, even me as a graphic designer. I use Nexa Bold, I think it is, for a ton of my designs and it just makes your designs a bit repetitive and boring looking. If you have some spare time, go ahead and browse through dafont.com. It's a great font website, you can find tons of original and creative fonts on here, and uh, it will just make your designs stand out a lot more from the others. For the fifth and final tip, I have name your layers and PSDs. I don't do this too often personally, but during a big project, if you have your layers named, it will make it much more organised, and if you have your layers a little bit like this, when you come to changing stuff, it may be a, uh, maybe a later date if you would like to change stuff, you will get confused as to which layers are for which designs. So like I said before, make sure you name your layers and your PSDs. Uh, I am guilty for this, like I said before as well, I name my PSDs things like Untitled 1, Untitled 2, AA, AA, Final Design, uh, all of us do it, but if you name your PSDs, take that little bit of extra time, it will make your desktop much more organised. Anyways guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this video, let me know if any of these tips were helpful, and also let me know if you think my audio quality is a lot better, and just put that down in the comments down below. So anyways, like I said before, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, this has been Visual or James, and I'm out, peace. No, no, no.